Hello, Gabriel Diano here from Gabriel Diano Performance Horses. Today we're gonna talk about a lead change. How do I uh, make my horse to be ready every time I ask for a lead change and how do I teach the young horse? So, now today I'm riding a four-year-old so it's gonna be easy to me to show you this but I will go to the very basics so it's easy to understand what I'm saying. First of all, I want to have my horse soft in the face and in letting me work with my legs. But one of the things that I, I go is way back to the base on when I, when I pull this rein, I want these shoulders to move, move away. Same thing for the other side. I want to pick up my rein and if it's not moving, I use my legs in the cinch here to make sure that he, he understand that he's not going all the body that, like that and he's only moving the front. I do that because that is what is gonna help me a lot to the ap approach on my lead change. I will move the shoulders and let the hind change first and then the front. So when I got that moving, easy, soft, and moving both way, I check my my hind. I pull my I, I just put my leg and let him move that way. In any occasion, I want him to jump out of my leg. I want like you guys see it. It's not that I'm holding him that is not running forward. I just gently put my leg on and let him move that way. When I got that. I love, I love. I always start on the regular circle. And once again, I want my horse to be relaxed and connected with me before I do any of those things. So once again, I pick up my rein. He will move the shoulders the way. That's good. I pick up my rein, move the shoulders and bring the hip inside. Good. I make sure that when I lose my rein, he's not running off or getting excited. When I got that, I like to do, start in straight lines and, and move it like this. And keep going that way. Then I counter. I need to make sure that he's not trying to anticipate the maneuver. So I put my outside leg and let him change. Very good. Oh. Okay. So that way what I what I did is went to my very basics, move shoulders, move hip, make sure that he's relaxed. He's not trying to guess what I'm gonna do. If my horse is trying to guess the lead change, probably gonna have the problem that change in front and don't change in the back. Because normally when a horse is trying to anticipate that, he's leaning to the, to the, the direction that you want the lead change. So make sure you always keep your horse fresh and waiting. And, and don't be fast on your commands to make him change lead. You're gonna go again the other, the other way. First of all, let my horse relax and stay there in between the reins. And once again, pick up my inside reins, shoulders going out. Put my, my leg high, move the hip inside. Good. Now I'll start working on my straight lines. The same thing, pick up my inside rein and move that hip away. Very good. You can see that the horse is waiting and it's not like getting nervous or anything like that. Again, pick up my rein. Now I counter. Make sure I'm moving that hip away. And I bring it in a straight line, pick up my outside rein, change lead. Very good. Oh. 
Very good. One thing that you can, you probably saw when I was on the straight line, my body always go, if I'm changing left to right, I will leave my body to the left, so that make your horse going that way. Most of the people think that if I do this, my horse is gonna come this way, but actually is losing the balance, so he's putting all the strain that way and coming this way not to fall. So when I change lead, I want my, my horse get moved like this, this moving this way. So if I'm here, I'm not making it easy. I'm actually giving a hard time to change lead. But that's my basic on the lead change. I try to keep it always simple and easy for the horse. And if it's easy for you, it's gonna be easier for the horse. It's important sometimes, I see a lot of people doing too many things to just do a simple movement. And the truth is, the simple you, 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 your instruction to the horse, the easier for him to understand. So we use his own body to make the lead change. So I bring the shoulders up, and when I put my height, he changed the back, and then he changed the front. And that's the, the correct lead change. Many horses need support in four key areas, joint, hoof, coat, and digestion. Our Smart Combo formulas allow you to cover all of these bases in one comprehensive supplement. With every Smart Combo formula, you can get the comprehensive support your horse deserves and save. Visit smartpack.com smartcombo to get started.